What's good, y'all? Shout out to the notification gang for hitting the like button. And the video didn't even start yet. Y'all are the best ones in it. I appreciate you anyway. Yeah, man. Straight, straight, straight to the video. Why does the mere suggestion of 50-50 dating trigger women? The modern man's definition of a 50-50 relationship is a scam because they only think about it through the lens of financial contribution and not the responsibility of the total relationship, for which women have long recognized that relationships are not equitable. But now, because they either can't or won't fulfill their own given responsibility, they're trying to shame women into taking on even more of the load. I got my lecture glasses on, so let's break it down with a visual aid. This You, I mean, I don't really agree, but then I don't disagree, right? Because, in, and I've said this before, man, like, in my relationship, my girl moving in with me, and she's not, you ain't got to worry about paying no bills or doing anything like that. That's not happening. That, that's, that's, that's not happening. Um, I wouldn't say it's, you know, necessarily, oh, well, it's about this, that, and the third, and, um... You know what I'm saying? What, what, what else you were saying? Oh, pay, paying more of the load. I wouldn't, I wouldn't say that. But, but anyway, um, so she made a chart. It says relationship contributions before. Okay, she got emotional, interpersonal, social, family, domestic, child care, home care. And then the man just has financial work. Ladies, is that all y'all think men do? We just do the financial work? But let, but let, let me let, let me keep going. Let me hold on. Chart shows how we traditionally define one hundred percent of men and women's effort in a relationship, and as you can clearly see, it's not equitable. Women are contributing, quote unquote, one hundred percent in a relationship if they're contributing all these different aspects, especially domestic work, childcare, and home care. If they live together or have a family, so the man don't do any of this. Interpersonal care, I mean, I can kind of argue with emotional care. Like, you know, I, I mean, emotional work, I think that says. Social and family work. So, fellas, I mean, men, men, men not providing the social family work. We're not providing the domestic child care. We're not damn helping kids with their homework, wiping the snot off their damn nose. Home care, we're not helping kids get dressed, teach them how to tie their shoes. Homework again, teach them how to damn, helping them clean up. Sweeping, mopping, dishes. What are you talking about? She just, she just, she just, honestly, in my, if I'm being honest, she's all over the place, man. This this is like the true definition of someone that's reaching right well, now. Well, men believe they can contribute 100% if they just provide financially. Now, when you zoom in on the financial contributions, you can see the problem that most modern men claim to have, that they feel like they're overcompensating in relationships because they're giving 100% of the financial contribution while women aren't giving any, therefore they're not pulling their weight. But the hole in their... So I wouldn't, again, I wouldn't disagree, but I wouldn't agree either. Um... Because I've said this before, man, like if, if, if my girl wants, like if it's that important to you, if you want to pay a light bill, pay the damn light bill. You want to pay the cable, bill, pay the damn cable, bill. Pay the phone bill, pay the damn phone bill. I believe the man should pay the bulk of the bills, if not the important bills. You know, like the rent, the mortgage or hell, car notes or insurance or anything like that. Like those types of things. I think the man should pay those types of things to be more, you know, to be, to, to be more the reasoning is that men design the system to benefit them because they predicate their value on how good of a financial provider they can be. But nonetheless, they decided that they're overcompensating and they want women to step up and take on 50% of the load. So in their dream scenario, this is what the relationship would look like, them allocating 50% of their load to women. But the problem is, as we've discussed, a relationship is not just determined based on financial she spent a lot of time on this. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> she spent a lot of time on responsibility. This. There are many other components that go into the workload of a relationship. So just zooming in on this one aspect and claiming that splitting financial responsibility in a relationship makes it a true partnership is a fallacy. Because when we take this dream scenario of a woman taking on 50% of the financial responsibility and actually apply it to the workload breakdown of the larger relationship, you can see how big the discrepancy is. This is a more realistic snapshot of what the workload in a relationship would look like.
she got a lot of time on her hands. I respect it. I'm not talking. Let me say it like that. I'm not. I'm not talking down on her or anything like that. I, I damn sure respect it. I damn sure respect it. But I mean, goddamn. So she's saying that men are supposed to give fifty percent of the financial work, and then that's it. So if we give y'all fifty percent of the financial work, I would assume y'all would give us fifty percent of the emotional work, the interpersonal, social, social, family work, domestic, child care, and home care. That would make sense. She's trying to make it seem like the men is just lazy and just no. In my opinion, let me say it like that, because maybe there is some men out here that's doing something. I don't know. Um, I don't believe in 50-50, so I wouldn't be able to tell y'all what my opinion is. But from what I do know, I have homies. As y'all seen before, man, like I did the video with, uh, shout out to Day to Day Mark. I did the video with him uh, talking about the 50-50, um, you know what I'm saying? Um, I, if I remember, I put the eye at the top. But um, his, what his thoughts on going 50-50, what my thoughts on was going 50-50. So we had our like a little back and forth and all this, that, and the third. So there is men that have different beliefs in, in these types of things. Me personally... I honestly believe I should pay um, the huge bulk, if not majority, if not all of the goddamn bills. You get what I'm saying? But um, it, like she, she again, like I said earlier, man, this is the true example, perfect example of someone that's reaching hard as hell, reaching hard as hell. We almost done, y'all. You all are trying to convince a woman to take on 50% of a workload that you assigned yourselves while not actually taking on any other work that is due in a relationship and calling it partnership. When in reality, when she takes on half your responsibility, she just overcompensates more for your lack of work and the gap between her contribution and your contribution grows. You've successfully convinced some women that this is an equitable relationship because you're incorrectly applying the equality model when you should be applying the equity model. Equality applies the same solution to all problems while ignoring that not all problems are the same, whereas equity recognizes every problem is unique and applies a specific and fair solution. But I'm sure it's convenient for you to ignore uh, I said this like three times, man. Like I don't disagree, but I don't agree either. She's actually she's actually right, honestly, when it comes to the men that believes in this. But again, like I said, I just the homie, the few homies that I have that believes in having their woman pay six fifty fifty or sixty forty, whatever the case may be. Like she she just going over over and beyond them reaching and ex being extreme, bro. Like this this is just this is just a lot, man. She she's trying to make it. She's literally trying to make it seem like. Um, men is trying to cut their finances in half on top of everything else. The men wanting the woman to take care of the child, cooking and cleaning and doing this, that, and the third. You know what I'm saying? Being his secretary while he just doesn't have to do anything. And I, I, I got I to disagree with that. All right, because when you apply the equitable solution to this problem, you'll see that men actually have to put in a lot more work to take on the non-financial work in a relationship instead of overburdening women. And in a relationship where that happens, you'll see that financial work can be split between two people, but so is everything else. This is how you truly build a 50-50 equitable relationship. So is everything else. This is how you truly build a 50-50 equitable Again, she has way too much time on her hands. So this is how you build a 50-50 equitable relationship. If one side, either her or his side, is paying 100%, listen. I'm not really like a fan of like gender roles and you know stuff like that but at the end of the day I still believe I have quote unquote gender roles. I don't even, I don't even like the term gender roles. I just believe there is things that I'm supposed to do as a man in a relationship. Paying bills, changing goddamn oil, t rotating tires, throwing the trash out. Goddamn uh you know, killing a goddamn spider in the house, like stuff like that, like those small things, those are things that I'm supposed to do. Those are things that I'm supposed to do. 
the emotional work, you can take that off. I don't have to be the goddamn emotional work and, and nurturer and all that's that, that, that that's that's what the that's what that's what the wife is there for. That's what the woman is there for. So you can immediately take this part out already and add more of the financial. You can add more of the financial work. Into the personal work, I mean, cool, that's all right, I guess. Social family, yeah, that's cool. Domestic work, of course. Child, of course. Home care, of course. She had way too much time on her hands. Like, I listen, I commend her, man. Like, it, like it was, it was great. I mean, she explained herself. I mean, really good. She explained herself really good. It's not like she did like a horrible job or anything like that. But at the same time, again, I just feel like she was being extreme and she was reaching. Definitely. Being extreme and reaching hard as hell. Like I don't I don't know what I don't know. She she must have been like talking to a guy that, that tried to like um I don't know that tried to <laughs> to play her or something, bro. I don't, I don't know, man. I don't know. Man. They, 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 these people be going through a lot in, in, in a damn relationship. And a lot of people need therapy, a lot of people need help. They don't know how to how to how to get over that ex that did them wrong or tried them or did whatever, man. Like, I don't know, man. I don't know. People people just crazy out here. Milady, you were reaching hard as hell. Uh, not all guys believe in that crap. Um, there are plenty of guys that's like me that honestly believes that I should be paying the bulk of the relationship, if not majority, if not all of the goddamn bills and all this, that, the third. Um, that's just me. I got plenty of homies that's like that. I have a homie that believes in the 50-50, but she's trying to make it seem like, oh, guys that believe in the 50-50, they believe that. No. My homie that believes in a 50-50, he still believes that he still has a job to do in the house with the relate with the kids, with his girl, with you know what I'm saying? Like, come on, man. <laughs> I don't know what to say, man. I want y'all to comment down below. Let me know what y'all thought about this video, man. Thanks for watching. And until next time, please, man, y'all be separate for her, cub.